But of jokes, I have an honest question that I, I was thinking, and I don't know how to phrase this without coming off like a dick. But there are people of the Jewish persuasion here tonight, and I have a question. Just hold on, hold on. A question that has been I've been at, wanting to know since third grade. There was a yarmulke left here behind, and I just just to answer my question: Where do you buy yarmulkes? It's not the Gap. I know this. Where do you? I mean this. Like this isn't a joke. This isn't a premise. Where are yarmulkes purchased? Online. No. All the Jews got angry. Shalom, bitch! Ah! Ah! I'm praying to God that's the only time I ever yell, Shalom, bitch. <laughs> Uh, New York City has crazy people. It's, 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 it's a real thing. Like, everyone's like, New York City's crazy. And I'm like, I'm sure it is. It's crazy. The other day I was walking down the street and I saw a woman yelling up to the fourth floor. And I quote, You just his slut. You just his slut. I've been with him for five years and I've been fucking him for five years. <laughs> so you better leave before you walk in on something you don't want to see. And that was a police officer, guys. Like, that's a decorated police officer. You can imagine what the normal people do. It's not a safe setting. But I was new to many, many new things happened to me. One of the big life-changing new ones was uh, I got called the N-word. Which, go figure, doesn't happen to me very often. It's uh, not in my repertoire. It's not something that happens. I was uh, my, one of my neighbors, I just moved, and my neighbor, I helped him move a few things uh, as well. And he yells down the street to me, black guy, yells down the street to me, Brian, mine, and then he said it. And I have to be honest with you guys, that felt amazing! Oh my god! Oh my god! I did it, I'm part of the team. This is unbelievable. The black community, I don't know if you guys know this, when you call us that word, it is like Christmas morning. It is the greatest, or Kwanzaa. It is the greatest... I'll make sure you understand. The greatest feeling in the world. And outside, I played it cool. I was like, yeah, man. But in my head, I was like, some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. It's breathtaking. Okay. And then I realized I had to say something back to him, and I didn't, uh, I didn't know what to say, because uh, I've never been in that situation. I panicked. I went in my gut. I was like, right back at you, cracker. I thought maybe I could do some size on that. <laughs> On board. This is my favorite city in the world. I have a weird love obsession with this city. I love it so, so very much. And a big part of that is I love the subway. And I, 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 it sounds weird, but I really do enjoy the subway a lot. It's great. It's so, I just also love the idea of it. People who made the subway being like, what should we do with all the poor people who can't afford cars or taxis? Put them in tunnels in the ground! <laughs> Make them go that way. I love it. Out of towners, have you guys done the subway? At all, have you done it a little bit? It's not like Disney, is it? No, it's not the same ride at all. Uh, you may see a guy in a Mickey Mouse outfit for, for all of the wrong reasons, really. His name is Christopher, do not talk to him. He is a very, very bad man, slash woman. He's very, very, very bad. I got on the subway today and I saw a woman on the subway who had the word sexy written on the backside of her pants and her butt region. And she was very much so not sexy. That was gross. Not okay. But I felt compelled in that moment. I had to do the right thing, the honest thing. I took a sharpie and underneath. Matter of opinion. <laughs> And just to give you a ballpark of how unsexy this woman was, she didn't even feel me do it. Okay, that's what we were dealing with on the Q train at 8 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't own a dog in New York City, which is upsetting because I love dogs. I'm a dog person. And it's just, if anyone's owned a dog in the city or New York City, anywhere, you know the worst part about the dog is the shit you got to pick up on the sidewalk, no pooper scooper, with the bag, you flip around and go and get ready. And there's a million people in New York City. Walk, there's a parade going by that day while you're reaching down to get this pile of shit. And the thing is, it, New York City is filled with gorgeous women. Gorgeous, awesome women. And if you have a dog, you are made in the shape. You're fine. Women love dogs. They're like, oh my god, I love your dog. Like, Thank you. I love your rack. It's fantastic. <laughs> but if you're going down to the top, 
Colonel. John, you, you can't be strong. No one's cool doing that. You can't go down and be like, the big man's big. Like, nothing. <laughs> I just got back from LA, I was doing some stuff over there. Anyone from LA, the West Coast? Yeah? It's the worst. I'm gonna be that. <laughs> you do that willingly? You live there willingly? Okay. Not against your will. That's the. All STDs were, came from LA. It's pretty much. <laughs> like, I don't have a problem, but you know when you meet someone and you're like, you have an itchy lifestyle. That is everyone in LA. Uh, it's, it's bad. I also accomplished in saying the uh, the dumbest thing I've ever said to another human being, and it was just it just happened, and I so didn't mean to. Uh, I was waiting for the line uh, for the bathroom at a restaurant, and right by that is the line for the takeout. So I'm standing there to go to the, you know waiting to go to the bathroom, and this woman comes up behind me, very attractive woman. She goes, "Hi, are you in line for the bathroom for the takeout?" And I said, "Oh, I'm in line for the bathroom." And she started standing all of a sudden. I was like, "Oh, this is my moment. I'll say something." So I thought of something quick, and I said. Well, let's see how things go in the bathroom, and then maybe I'll be in line for the takeout. <laughs> <laughs> you got it quicker than me. I was like, oh, look at me saying words. Like, that was a clever thing to say. It wasn't until I got in the car to leave, I realized, oh my god, I just told this woman, let's see how much I can poop. And then maybe... <laughs> I'll be talking to you again. <laughs> I try to put more food in my body. <laughs> Just let me clear my bowels. And then. <laughs> Maybe I can get your number. <laughs> I have another funny poop thing that happened to me. Because uh, <laughs> that's what. I don't know. It happened uh, last night. I was doing a show in Princeton. And, uh, fucking Princeton people are smart. Are you guys from Princeton? Oh, then why are you clapping? They're like, we like schools! Yeah! Any school you want to clap, you want to clap for! It's, it's okay, guys. Um, but yeah, so I was going to the bathroom before the show. I was doing, you know, people do that, okay? I mean, it, it happens. I feel embarrassed telling you, but yes, I poop. Um, <laughs> But I'm going to the bathroom, I kind of, you know, kind of went in there quick, I asked, you know, where is it, I went in quick, went to the bathroom, and I'm sitting there, and I heard kind of a feminine sound. I thought I saw a urinal when I was walking by. I realized, oh my god, I'm in the women's bathroom! Pooping! At Princeton! Come on! The dumbest thing ever! I'm in the smartest school! They talk about existential mathematics, like it's small talk there. I pooped in the women's bathroom. Oh, it was the worst. And I was just like waiting, thank God, and just bolted out. Oh, I'm having a nice night. Am I red? Because it was really embarrassing. I feel my face, I'm like... You know when people make up stories? Not making this up. Look at my face. Anyway. Um, another fun thing happened in L.A. I realized, uh, L.A., you're homeless people. Crazy! <laughs> like, they make our homeless people look adorable. <laughs> I, uh, I saw this, uh, this homeless guy, and uh, he was kind of puttering across the street, going really slow, and he shouldn't have been walking. The car had to slam on the brakes, and then he laid on his horn. And then the you know, homeless guy gave him the finger, because that's what homeless people do. That plays to their skill set. Um, gave him the finger, car pulls on the side of him, rolls down his window, and goes, Suck my dick! I was <laughs> Suck my dick! And then the car starts kind of pulling away, and this guy's clearly handicapped, is really slow, had his bags. Drops his bags and goes sprinting after the car, going, like, Come back, girl, suck your dick, I'll suck it! <laughs> Out of nowhere, he went homeless Hulk mode. He was like, Ah! <laughs> Hulk smashed penis. Like, it was the craziest thing.